call from? Frill. To Frill? Yes, Frill. Is this Gat? <sighs> it is. Oh my god. It's so wonderful to speak with you. It's wonderful to speak with you as well, Frill. Am I saying that In right, Frill? Indeed. Yes, Frill. So, we're talking about aliens tonight? Well, right now we're talking about... Well, we were just talking about if I was pronouncing your name right, and now we're talking about if you were... You know, we were talking about what we're talking about. But that's the thing, you know, um, what we're talking about, it changes with every sentence we exchange between each other. Exactly. And we we both are and are not. And we're here and we're on the other side and it's where our consciousness takes us. What are you talking about? I'm not really sure. That's okay. But Hey Frill? But I've I've seen enough of you that I I think that it's okay to not know. I'm glad that you feel comfortable not knowing the next the next thing that you're going to say to me. I think that that's, you know, for I don't know if you agree with this, but I think that that's kind of I think that that's kind of, you know, a sign that, you know, you're comfortable around someone, you know, you don't have to always think about, you know, really too hard about what you're going to say next. If if you know what you're going to say next all the time, it seems like everything's too rehearsed. And then it's like, are you in a play? Are you even real yourself? And I'm not rehearsing this. I'm just sort of, it's sort of a stream of consciousness ramble, which I feel comfortable consciously rambling with you. Someone wants to know, why am I a gecko? Um, I, I don't know that that really matters. It might. But does it really? Are you really a gecko? Or is part of your consciousness truly a gecko? Because that's okay. But in other respects, you're a man in a gecko suit. So you're implying that, you know, physically I'm a man in a gecko suit. It's possible that you're a man in a gecko suit, but it's also possible that you could be a gecko who has attained consciousness to the and the ability to speak. That would be sick. It's not in a cheesy, um, what do I want to say? Not in a cheesy advertisement kind of way. Let's get that out of the way. That would be really sick. It could be a hallucination, but then life itself could whoa, be a whoa, whoa. hallucination. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said this could be a hallucination? It could be. Frill, have you ever experienced a hallucination? Yes, I have experienced hallucinations. What, what was the last thing you hallucinated? Well, the last thing I actually remember hallucinating was that I could see the the framework underneath the cement sidewalk and I thought that people walking at me were in Halloween costumes but they weren't what kind of Halloween costumes just sort of distorted humanoid type Halloween costumes do you think those are the aliens <laughs> that we're talking about? Uh, I don't know if I believe in aliens per se, but it could be. They could have been aliens. We could all be aliens. I could be a fucking alien. I think you could be a fucking alien. 
I think that would be pretty cool if I was a fucking alien. But the only you think problem it'd be cool? is. Well, the only problem is, if I am an alien, I'm not aware of it. And so, I think that would be a bad thing. Why would it be bad? Okay. I feel like we're getting somewhere with this. So, you're saying it would be cool to be an alien, but it would be bad to be an alien and not know you're an alien. Exactly. It would be a matter of uh, sort of being unaware of my true self. Why do you need to know your true self if, you know? Well, okay, how about this? Do you think, actually, this is a question I have for you, Lady Frill. I don't know, I don't, is there, I don't know if your name is Lady Frill. I think I might have seen someone say that your name was Lady Frill in the chat. If your name isn't Lady oh, Frill, that'd be a cool name for like a, you know, a gamer I'll, tag or something. If you, I don't know if you play Call of Duty, but Frill. I'll deal with that. Yeah, that's cool. Ah. Do you think you could decide to be an alien and then be one? I believe that if your will was strong enough, you could decide to be whatever you wanted to be. Now, it's not that the rest of society would accept you for that, but yes. If you could decide you could to be, be anything. anything you wanted, Frill, what would you want to be? If I could decide to be anything I wanted, I think I'd like to be a mushroom growing in a nice, deciduous forest in some beautiful moss. Maybe by the side of a lake with some trees towering above me. Not necessarily a psilocybic mushroom, mind you. Perhaps just a, a beautiful, ben benevolent mushroom. Maybe a tasty mushroom. It would all be great. It would be a, a life cycle thing. The cycle of life. Do you think there is a possibility that you are a mushroom right now, but you aren't aware? Oh, I do believe that. I believe that anything is possible. I believe that any part of our lives could be a dream, and any part of our dreams could be our actual lives. And that's okay. That's cool. Or... It could be a bunch of shit. We could be nothing. It's it's all cool because it is what it is and nobody can know exactly what it all is. Except perhaps you because you're the therapy gecko. Well. Well, Frill? I... I yeah. I don't look, I don't know if you're a mushroom or if you're an alien or if you're if you are the therapy gecko, perhaps. If you are, you know, a, a man or a woman in a gecko suit, but but I think you could be. You could be whatever you want. And you know, that's a good message to, you know, send home to the kids. And I appreciate you bringing that message onto the stream, sharing it with everyone here. I appreciate the opportunity, and I, I, I send all my best thoughts and my love to you, and I feel like I've taken enough of your time, so I will, I will leave so that somebody else can um, avail themselves of your, uh, your knowledge. I love you very much, Frill. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. A mushroom by a lake with a tree hanging over it. Next time you see one of those or you, and you step on it, think, you know. Next time you see a mushroom, next time you see an ant, next time you see literally anything, because you could be literally anything, next time you see literally anything, whether it's living or dead, or if it never lived at all, think to yourself, that could be Frill. That could be me.